episode of Stuck in Vermont is brought to you by Coldwell Banker, Hickok, and Boardman Realty. Now listen, and you'll hear it tapping. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger. We're here in Shelburne on a beautiful sunny day at Wake Robin, a retirement community. And behind me is the Wake Robin Sugar Shack. Maple syrup from Vermont. It's very gooey. <laughs> Hardly a drip on this one. No, this is regular sap. Whoa! <laughs> Never a dull moment. <laughs> Back in 1998, a Wake Robin resident, Dr. Ed Wheeler, began sugaring in these beautiful woods. They're about 136 acres. It's all due to Ed Wheeler. And some students in a CVU shop class built this sugar shack. And ever since then, Wake Robin residents have been spending every maple sugar season sugaring. Oh yes, everything is done here by volunteers. Oh, they're all over 65. Because it's fun. It's just a fun thing to get out in the spring. I really love uh, this whole, oh, the culture of sugaring. I, I've never done it before. It's... The sun's starting to shine and the snow is melting and the mud is squishing up around your boots. Gets you a chance to get out in the woods a little bit. Start up the fire and then the steam starts rising and you can smell the sugary smell in the sugar house. And drinking the syrup. It becomes a community event that's a lot of fun. And then people come around and we talk and we think great thoughts. And... <laughs> then after a while we make some sugar and then we go home. The sap is running. <laughs> got a lot of sap in there? Yes. Yeah, half a bucket. Oh, you got a lot of sap. Yeah. The night before last, it didn't freeze. We had absolutely no, no sap at all. And so today, it's running quite well now, isn't it? Yeah. We need it to go back down so it can come back up. <laughs> the trees do mysterious things that way. We take buckets and we go out to the where the taps are and empty the sap into the bucket. I hadn't done those, David. Did somebody else do them? Has anybody been down this way? Not much sap in the jungle trail I hear. It's coming, but only beginning. Sounds like you got a lot there. Yeah, that was good. That this is a good. sap tree. It looks to me just like water. Oh, it tastes like sweet water. Oh, so this is an old sap pole. And we put a tap in to intercept just a little bit of it and let most of it go for the tree. But I think when we get to 25 gallons, we'll say, well, that's fine. And then we filter it through this sheet. That was just filtering out the bark pieces and whatever. And then someone carries it up the ladder to dump it into the holding tank. Then it feeds in through the piping and into this room and into the evaporators. And this has to boil away for a while. Well, it's anywhere between 40 gallons to 50 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. And then into the final syrup making here. All the while it's boiling away. It takes a new piece of wood every five minutes or so. It's up to us to saw them up into proper length pieces and to split them. Not automatic splitters. Syrup rather is drawn off there when it's time 100, 200 to 19 degrees. This is a hydrometer. Now this is actually a little bit more than ready. It's, it's the last it's step after after so all the boiling. It's going to be drained through there. And it's not a quick process because it is thick. Here's the end of the line. Mm. So these are the people who made it happen this year at Wake Robin. Wow. That's Good flavor, huh? Wow. Mm, fabulous. Mm. Ah, the Wake Robin yeah, sugar. It's a, it's a wonderful community of people. They're very supportive of each other. They're very active. You know, vigorous and, and yeah. interested in so many different things. I mean, they're motivated to, to do things. And what it is technically is a CCRC, a continuing care retirement community. And it does allow us to go from one step to another. As long as we can, we all want to live independent. I'm having as much fun here as I've ever had. And the stimulating people here. Well, this sugar maker was a retired electrical engineer. <laughs> About as far from agriculture as you could imagine. I work for the uh, U.S. Geological Survey. I'm medicine, internal medicine at the medical center. And I was a professor of education at, at the University of Vermont. I'm one of those New York City Wall Street bankers. <laughs> could, you even, could you even imagine that you would be splitting wood and tromping through the mud? And... Well, I was hoping that I would be, yeah. So all of Lake Rock 
Bob and right. his Wi-Fi. You can park yep. your car here and surf to your heart's content. It's free. It's public. Mmm. Nothing like sweet maple syrup on a beautiful sunny day in the Vermont woods. We'll get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Mmm. Hope you're enjoying maple syrup this season. Delicious. And I'm here with my wife, Gloria. Oh, excellent. Is she sugar or no. on occasion? She is sugar. <laughs> oh. 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 That's going in the head. That, that's, that's in there good. for real. We're starting to outgrow our, our home now and we're just renting and we're getting married in two weeks so we want to start a new home together. To be represented by a realtor makes more sense now than ever. Oh, it's great. He does everything for you and <laughs> explains everything. Your home is your largest investment that you're ever going to make. Take your time. You have to have fun with it. My goal as your realtor is to help you make a good decision that you're going to be happy with for a long time.